On February 5, 2013, the Disability Bill passed its second reading in the Nigerian Senate. The bill seeks to address challenges faced by people living with disabilities. More than a year later, the bill is yet to receive President Goodluck Jonathan's assent. With about 20 million people living with various disabilities in Nigeria, calls abound from all quarters for the welfare of this large section of the Nigerian society. I could remember during the work going up, some people usually say in terms of, we have a, somebody with a physical disability, maybe is a, is a one winch or the other that give you, and some people do abandon them. So even go, it's a matter of even killing their child, their own child, or even throw them away. Elected ministers went abroad, and they see the developments over there, and how they make life ease for the people with challenges and disabilities of various types. Here, we don't have that in mind, and uh, it's terrible. That makes even the larger society not to tolerate, not to give necessary assistance. The Nigerian government expressed its desire to address the rights of the people living with disabilities by signing and ratifying the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and its accompanying optional protocols in 2007 and 2010 respectively. But the failure of the Nigerian government to domesticate it by creating a national legislation as required for efficiency disconnects Nigerians from the provisions of this international instrument. Without doubt, this reflects on the daily experiences of these individuals. Although the Lagos state government provides in law that organizations employ a percentage of disabled people, this law hardly reflects. For example, most public buildings and facilities, as well as their counterparts in the world of private businesses, are really equipped for physically challenged individuals. The few schools available to such people are either ill-equipped or highly overpopulated. The road network does not effectively show sufficient consideration for them either. Researchers say more than a billion people are affected by disabilities worldwide. More than 10% of Nigerians share in that burden, a number significant enough to attract treatment as a priority. Fumi Badamosi runs an NGO which caters to people with special needs, especially children. From her small office which signposts desperate needs for funds, she caters to the blind, disabled, as well as those with medical conditions. She regrets that physically challenged people are neglected only to be overwhelmed by the frenzy of activities that characterize life in the metropolis. The Nigerian society, the Nigerian government is not is really really silent about persons with disability, and a lot has to be done. I think we need to we need a lot of orientation. Our roles should be should be constructed in a way that we make them accessible to persons with disability. But quite inspiring are the few Nigerians who, despite the odds, take their disabilities in their strides. Both being the only sides in Africa. Victor Otuya. A visually impaired radio presenter says nothing can hold him down. You have to improvise. If you do not improvise, if you do not grow a thick skin, you'll be left at the bottom of the ladder. Or not just at the bottom of the ladder, you'll be swept by the waves. And you do not want to. Because no one will give you anything for free, so you've got to work for it. Besides presenting unscripted shows, Victor's itinerary often includes conducting interviews and using the script, tasks which his producer says he carries out at par with his colleagues who have no obvious physical challenges. Working with Victor is actually, it has opened my eyes. Victor is a working encyclopedia, I don't know. You ask Victor about something happened in World War Three or World War One, and he'll tell you the town and the soldier. And, is amazing. With Victor, there's that edge of knowledge. Back on the streets in our fast-paced world and overwhelmed by their disability, many physically challenged persons are displeased that the Nigerian society does not prioritize their needs. Nigeria's physically challenged have proved their mettle continuously 
At the London Paralympics in 2012, they shone like neon lights, coming back home with medals in spite of what critics described as negligible government support. Does he have a second world record? He does! What a series of lifting there! Rights activists are more than ever calling for a speedy assent to the disability bill, which would ensure full integration of Nigerians with disability into the society. Christopher Popola, TVC News, Lagos.